Hi, my name is Judy Cornett, and I'm a speech and language pathologist. My passion and the goal of my professional life has been to enhance communication that is relevant to a full life for those individuals with communication challenges. My credentials include a master's in education and a master's in speech and language pathology. I did my undergraduate work at the University of Buffalo and my master's work at the University of Virginia. I'm also a certified mindfulness trainer and a certified assistive technologist. I'm licensed in the state of Maryland and by the American Speech, Language, and Hearing Association. I'm a private practitioner with my own business, but most importantly, I've been a speech and language pathologist specializing in communication disorders for the past 20, for, oh, 49 years. The theme of my course is supporting communication as you and your loved ones age. Rather than covering etiology and neurological definitions, my focus will be on supporting effective communication within the natural environments of the home and the community. In the first session, I will address those communication challenges that affect all of us as we age. The second session will cover communication challenges that are the result of neurological damage. Communication challenges can be receptive, that which the individual comprehends, and expressive, that which the individual is able to express graphically, or verbally. Typically, age-related communication challenges are a combination of receptive and expressive factors. I hope to provide insights into both the receptive and the expressive challenges that aging individuals experience. I will delineate supports and resources to the caregivers, loved ones, and the individuals with communication difficulties. My goal is to offer accommodations, suggestions, and ideas that are easily implemented to ease the frustrations and challenges of communication barriers that the aging process carries with it. Whether the communication challenges are a result of normal aging process or due to neurological damage, there are always ways to support and enhance communication. I will share examples of strategies that have been useful for my patients to the use of environmental engineering, low level technology, visual supports, and targeting of essential communication goals, as well as the identification of various factors and environments that may interfere with successful communication. I hope you'll join me for the course this September as the quality of life is enhanced through effective communication.